excited. Today's story poses a little bit of a quandary for me. What is that? Well, Red Bear, I never had a class pet. No? Nope. Uh, but apparently it's like a thing. And I didn't even know it was a thing because in my school, we didn't have class pets. So I didn't have a class pet. So why would I know how to catch a class pet? Well, that's important information nowadays, let me tell you. Now, Red Bear, your class did have a pet, right? Yeah, we had ants. Really? But it really wasn't my favorite kind of ant. Oh, what's your favorite kind of ant? An elephant. Oh, I think that would be too big for your classroom. Oh no, there's an even bigger ant. There is a giant. Whoa, Red Bear, I think you're about to go on the road with these jokes. Whoa, wait, I'm not done. There's more. Oh yeah, what do you call a 100 year old ant? A 100 year old ant? An ant teak. Wow, I had no idea that he had such an extensive ant repertory. Okay, here we go. How to catch a class pet. Because if they get away, you need to know how to get them back. Because otherwise, I feel like there will be trouble. Here we go. Oh, this book is for you and me and the kid time family. How to catch a class pet in classic school colors. Here we go. Summer was great and we had so much fun. There was biking, camp, and the pool. Now we all have a new place to go. Together we're all off to school. And here we go, the big yellow bus. Some of us are being dropped off by parents. Some of us are walking there and we're all like, hey, how you doing? How was summer? Good to see you. I brought my new overalls. Hey kid, how you doing? See, everybody's happy. Playing outside as we wait for the bell. We have not seen our classrooms yet. New teachers, lessons, books, and friends. And we know each class has its own pet. Like a bat? No, absolutely no bats. Oh, where I come from, we have bats in our classrooms. And where is that exactly? Transylvania, you! Oh, it's very popular with witches, so bats are a thing. So you should probably get some bats. But you should really tell, tell your teacher to get a bat. They, they can't hear you. Tell them to get a bat. Bats are the thing. Bats are all the rage. Get bats, preferably with rabies. What? Oh, no. There are fish, turtles, snakes, and frogs, plus a dragon. What more can you ask for? We're having so much fun playing outside and can wait to see what's through that door. Wait a minute. Let's take a closer look, shall we, through the windows? Because there's a turtle, there's a rabbit, there's the dragon, specifically a bearded dragon, if you were wondering. And apparently they all came with iPhones and are completely wired. Wow, I did not know that classroom pets were that modern. We all went inside to our classrooms, but there wasn't one pet to be found. It seems they all watched us this morning and escaped for recess on the playground. Look, there's no hamster on the wheel. There's no amphibian in there. There's there's no rabbit in the carrot box. And, and this is empty, and this is empty, and that's empty, and oh. Who let the pets out? Whoop, 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 whoop. Who let the pets out? That, that, that guy. Now, outside is crawling with pets galore. So in our class, we drew traps to look at. They figured out how to escape all at once. Who knew there was something called pet chat? I know, everybody knows, now don't you know? I did not know. Well, now you know. Now I know. Lunchtime came and we ran to the slide to discuss who would catch which critter. It looked like there were nine on the loose. Not easy, but no one here is a quitter. So here we have everybody, and then here are the escapees, and they are playing a fabulous game of hide and seek. So while they're planning, thinking, strategizing, these guys are just on the rock wall enjoying themselves. That's not a kid on those monkey bars. From here, it looks like a stick, but sticks don't slither and wriggle around. We better get over there quick. Oh, look at that. He's reading, history has its eyes on you. 
I'd run. And this guy, he had a box of snakes for a snake party as a lure. But this guy's way too interested in history. So many kids are running and jumping. Then we see a commotion on the side, a commotion. Something is rolling down from the top. Who knew that fur balls could speed glide? I knew, I totally knew. Everybody knows everything except me. Fur balls can speed glide. There's pet chat, there's bad chat too. What? This should be easy, cause this pet is so slow, the turtle. Let's ask those kids playing wall ball. Nope, don't see anything over here. He can't be far, he moves at a crawl. So the plan that they drew up for the turtle catching is step one, just pick it up. There is no step two. But what if you can't find him? I mean, clearly there's the bearded dragon who is obviously a hipster. Oh, did you see right over here? Mr. Turtle is camouflaged by the green wall. Camouflage, a big word that means covered up by blending into the background. So his whole green on green trick, working like a charm. Gotta go faster, we are running out of time. Check out the people playing four square. That ball sure took a really high bounce. Hold on, there are two things in midair. So they're playing fly -orama. This is frog-o-rama. So they thought they were gonna catch him with the flies, but instead he got away with the ball. Whoa, somebody has set up camp in the area formerly known as the Sandbox. But now, it's not a sandbox. It's the Hermit Crab Hotel. There on the swings, just how is that moving? There's nobody sitting on the top. It's not really windy, and don't think it's a ghost. A hermit crab? How will she stop? She won't, can't stop, won't stop. And oh, look at that, there is the frog right there, peeking over after, well, you know, the fly -orama. And there's the bearded dragon over there, hipster bearded dragon over there, watching over everything. I feel like the bearded dragon is the gang leader and the mastermind behind the whole recess escape plot. It's just watching over everything. Still haven't found the rat, dragon, or spider, but let's play. There's a rock wall to climb. Wait, just a minute. This part is so sticky. We wonder, was he here this whole time? Oh, so here, this kid right here, obviously an inventor type of kid who's into creating contraptions, maybe a future Thomas Alva Edison, set up a perfect trap with the sign, help wanted web maker to lure the spider over. Except we don't know if the spider has learned to read yet. And there he is, right there. There's the culprit. He had been all over the place. Or was it Spider-Man? Or was it the spider? And once again, look who's watching over everything. The hipster bearded dragon, like, what up? Teachers are calling and lunch break is over. Ring! Doesn't look like we caught any pets. What was that? Did a rat leave the tube? Maybe we just need better nets. So there's, there's look, look at that, flying rat coming out of the tube, and there's the rabbit, and there's a bearded dragon. He seems to be signaling at them. What is up with that guy? I don't see any other animals, but I see a lot of worried faces, like, where is he? I don't know where the animal is. I got this net and it's empty. And, oh, this kid right there, he's looking it up on Pet Chat to see if he can get a clue as to where the heck these animals are. We never did find the dragon. Finding him might take us forever. Well, at least the fish didn't get out. Bloop, bloop, bloop. You'd think they'd be bored, but whatever. So everybody's thinking, scratching their heads in the universal sign of what? I don't know why when we're lost for thought, we all scratch our heads. Like, do you think that maybe if we scratch it, we might dislodge an idea? It could be. Wow, how? What? The pets are all back. Every kid let out a big cheer. Can't wait for what happens tomorrow. It's going to be a great year. And the, the snake is back. 
and 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 the crab, the hermit crab, she's back, and and whatever that thing is, a gerbil, a hamster, and guinea pig maybe, I don't know, some kind of a rodent, white rat would know, and the fish, they never left. The spider came back from the rock wall, and the turtle came back from its camouflage against the wall, and there's brown rat, and there's the rabbit, and there's the frog orama, and here's the ringleader right here, checking off recess. That's right, the bearded dragon, the mastermind, had planned recess for all of them. Yeah. It is going to be a great year, but whatever you do, do not let your class pet accidentally get out. Anyways, that'll be a problem of elephantine proportions. <laughs> <laughs>